Hello there, and today, well this afternoon, I have come up to the beautiful seaside town of Barmouth. This morning I was over at Lamberis, hence the last video was at Lamberis at the Lone Tree. Um, well as it was calm there, Betsy come here, Betsy come here, well as it was calm there this morning, because it was in a big bowl, out at uh, Barmouth now, it is blowing a gale, absolutely blowing. So I am hoping you can hear me over this wind. I'm going to check, all I want today is a couple of these wrecks in the harbour. Betty's going nuts. I think the wind's winding her up, she's miles off. Oh dear, I'm going to have a right going with her. Betty! Hey! Bet! Damn dog. Yeah, I want a couple of these wrecks and I'm going to try and line up things like the anchors and the chains as a leading line up to the boat with the beautiful clagging mountains in the distance. It looks absolutely fantastic, the conditions. Uh, I'm going to try and get better under control, so join me shortly. I'll try and line up a couple of compositions. Just turn you around. Look at these old things here, they look fantastic. Let's go and find, let's go and find my dog. An example of what I'm looking for is this anchor down here leading off to the boat but where I'm positioning the camera today as you can see there we're going to put the chain on a diagonal line so the anchor will be in the bottom left corner and the boat up towards the top right um, to make use of diagonal lines as well as rule of thirds <coughs> Think of all your compositional tools, you've got the golden spiral, you have got your diagonals, your horizontals, your, 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 your verticals, um, the rule of thirds. They're all tools to help you and to, to, just to make the image more pleasing. And I do try to use um, diagonals where I can. Betsy! Hey! Check her out. She's going absolutely wild today. I think it's the wind, I think it's the wind just winding her up. But yet yeah, use all these tools to your advantage and look them up on the internet on Google. Just just type in compositional tools like rules of thirds and golden spiral and, and diagonals and everything else and try to incorporate it into your images. Um, I tend to set up on the back of the camera the rule of thirds with diagonal lines on as well, just so that I can actually line them up rather than trust to eye I can line it up perfectly on the diagonal line so I intersect through the centre of the frame and everything and it just does look that little bit more pleasing it's it just helps the image to produce more Betsy come here right I'm going to uh, line this up and I'll talk you through the shot I'll show the back of the camera so for this shot as you can see the anchor is down it's on the intersection of the the line on the bottom rule of thirds to the left chains coming up on the diagonal and the boat just in the top corner on the rule of thirds it looks beautiful the sky is just boring and it's just dragged in there's just low cloud over the mountains it looks fantastic as you can see Betsy's going nuts she's absolutely going bonkers um, I'll put this shot on for you right now, have a look at What I'm going to do is just focus stack there, focus stack on the boat, merge them together in Photoshop, and yep, yeah, here's the shot.
I've now just come to the other side of the anchor just to see what it looks like with the anchor in the bottom right and the boat into the top left. Um, I can't quite line the chain up on the diagonal line. It's not far off, but it still looks still looks nice because you have the camera, uh, the anchor bottom right and the boat top left now. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. This old boat looks so fantastic. Shame about the big orange boy there, but uh, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it, so I am going to leave it there. I'm now going to have a little wonder. And we have a few more boats here. We'll just turn you around. We have a few more boats here. I quite fancy this one, actually, or maybe that one. And just line up a couple of shots with these. They look, they look lovely. It is uh, such a beautiful little harbour, this is, at Barmouth. The, I'm sure there was a couple more boats. I'm sure there was one over there. Last time I came. Betsy! I'm sure there was one just there. Um, an old wreck. Pretty much like this one. I can't see it. So, unless it's hiding behind the orange boat, I don't know. Oh, actually, I can see it. There it is. Turn you around so you can see. The green one there with the red cab. I'll go and uh, launch something up with that now and see how that looks. Beautiful place though. Freezing cold here, freezing cold. God, Lamberis this morning was so calm and it was windy on the way there, but because we was in such a, a big bowl, it was really calm and quite mild. But now, because I'm exposed here in the, uh, on the arbor, it is freezing cold, absolutely freezing. Join me up here and let's see what we can get. For this shot, I'm trying to line up, I've got the camera down quite low, I'm trying to line up a bit of a reflection in this, this bit of water down here. Not quite happening, but still looks beautiful little shot. I'm going to try and work this, see if I can get some kind of reflection here and uh, yeah it does look beautiful though it looks beautiful Betsy I can see now he's right up on top of the sand dunes over there she is absolutely doing me heading doing me heading this morning well this afternoon she is I'm sure it's the wind that's winding her up and she's just going bonkers here she comes she knows we're talking about her. She's an absolute nut job today. Absolute nut job. So yeah, let me try and uh, get a shot of this. And if I can, I'll put it on for you right now. Tell me what you think, put your comment below. Well, I've been walking around this boat and I am really struggling because from the front, all you've got is this plain grey sky. There's nothing there, there's no detail at all in it. And the photo looks dreadful, looks absolutely dreadful. Um, so I have walked all the way around from the front. It, it looks the best from the front, but as I say, got that grey background from the back here. You've got some beautiful mountains that are clagged in, but the back of the boat looks dreadful. So, I'm going to give that a miss, and I'm going to go and walk back down and try and get a, another boat in the harbour, down the bottom by the, by the sea. So, I've got a cups now. Um, yeah, Betsy, get here. So, yeah, let's go and carry on walking down. I'm going to see if I can get something down here. Tell you what, really cold today here. Yeah. It's my fingers are going pink red. I'm freezing, absolutely freezing. So uh, yeah, give Betsy a quick little run here. There's a little dog she's looking at, so I think she's going to bolt off and have a play with it shortly. And I'm going to head down 
that way. One is about. Well, I think that's going to be it, to be honest. I, uh, I'm going to carry on and walk Betsy, see if I can see anything else. But uh, the boat's down here. I've just took a photograph of that red boat there, which I'll put on shortly at the end. Um, not quite doing it for me, but I took the image anyway, just because it, you know, pretty little boat and pretty little scene. Um, it does look really good. As I say, hey mate, all right. We, uh, this little harbour is just stunning. These boats here, especially this old wreck here behind me, it looks so nice. Oh, it's just rotting away, it looks beautiful, it does. Absolutely beautiful. <coughs> yeah. I'm going to carry on walking, I'll give Betsy a walk on the beach now. Check out all the links below in the description. There's resources all down there. All the gear I use and everything. Bet, come here. Oi! Off again, off again. Yeah, subscribe. We'll do it all again next week. Your support really is appreciated. Um, share with your friends. I'll drop all the images on now. Enjoy. And until next time, take it easy. Don't know if you can see her, she's off again. <laughs>